Hi, this is Tanya the Lady Strange. Welcome to day 27 of 31 Days of Strange. I am going to be showing one of my Syrian Shadows decks. I have the newest one, the Gothic Literature Tarot, on its way as we speak. Highly anticipating that. I love his decks. If you are not aware of them, I have the Oracles. I have, which are mass market that I got. I got the Earth and Bone Oracle. She is a staple in my almost daily practice on a very frequent basis. I'm very honest, very, um, very honest, truthful, but also very enlightening. Can be a cheerleader, but can also um, remind me of how the part I am playing in my life and the magic and the mundane on both levels. So it's great, and it's a great reader and a great compliment and clarifier for tarot. So it's one of my favorites and one of my favorite oracles and staples in my very large, well, my, should I say my very great sized, um, ever growing deck <laughs> collection. So with that being said, the other one that I do have, and you've seen if you watch any of my previous weekly readings and things for even a hot minute, you would see that my favorite oracle deck that I do use by him is the Haunted Manor Oracle. It is beautiful. It's dark, it's divine, it's haunting. Um, supposed to be used for shadow work. I don't use it for that. It's a great clarifier for oracles. It, yes, it does work for shadow work. Um, it will tell you sometimes brutally honest, but it also is a cheerleader. It's beautiful. And it's everything that goes with, like, if you love the goth and the divine dark and the macabre, slightly macabre and confronting type of energies. So that is my favorite. Plus, it's just everything in my collection. Um, it's out of print, and I'm glad I was able to snatch it before it was because I tried to get it for two other people that are in my life. And when I did, at not long, maybe a month, a month or so after I purchased it, yeah, it was gone. So yeah, maybe it'll come mass market, who knows. But with that being said, this other deck I'm using that I'm going to be showing today doesn't seem to get as much love as those other two. I've seen some videos and different things on there, like from Almond 513, Racines. That's how I found out about this deck when it came out. It is mass market. It is a oracle deck, and it is for shadow work. Now, that's what I primarily use it for. Um, as advice and to tap in so it's only for me and not for others um, I wouldn't advise that but again this is my gnosis my practice and how I divine and read and use things in my collection as tools in my magical and spiritual and daily toolkit so and I don't use this one every day or frequently it's as it calls to me or as my life needs it which I probably should pull God very soon my life really needs it. So I call this though my Seasons of the Abyss or see, or Seasons in the Abyss. It's early in the morning so forgive me I gotta go to work soon. <laughs> I don't sleep well and being the spooky season, the liminal and so on and being very working with spirits in underworld. My dreams have been as usual very strange. Nothing is back there but a bit more sleeping and my sleeping patterns have been affected and of course let's just say my day-to-day -day job is and people the world is getting to me a bit but i'm reflecting and working on that just as everyone else out there is working on that in the collective with their own it circumstances and how they approach and deal with things so this is my seasons in the abyss or slayer because i love the band slayer um again i said that wrong all apologies, as Nirvana song says. So I'm a big music buff, or fan. Buff fan, if you watch my previous ones, I love typo negatives. So before I get too rambly, this is Shadows of Darkness by Syrian Shadows. This box is great. A great, well-made box. Now, it's got a lot of skulls and things like that, and it reminds me of, like, the 80s heavy metal type of thing, which I love 80s metal. 80s thrash, uh, the 80s glam metal is one of my big things on that. Um, 
how type O negative and carnivore, that type of thing, and across the board. Of course, I love it. These new age things and all that. But yes, that's what makes me me. So this is just the inside real quick. I love this though. It says, uh, confronts the darkness within and set yourself free. Pretty appropriate. There's nothing wrong with each of our darkness. Not something to be ashamed of or to repress, but to look at why that happened. It's often trying to protect ourselves or things through the traumas, the different experiences we have. So, um, yes, so the shadow work is something that each of us should do, whether we are an occultist or practitioner or just a regular person on whatever path they may be or spirituality it's good to heal yourself or to get help is needed meaning reaching out to others your support system or of course for therapy um in my way major way my cards are my therapy my decks are in my daily therapy um and i wouldn't have it any other way but I do know to reach out and use those around me, not use them, but reach out for their support. And I am open about my feelings and I try my best to flow through them and my constant anxiety. Um, yes. So with that being said, this is an excellent shadow work deck. And it is awesome because it's got that heavy metal feeling to me. Now, if you are not into skulls, you're not into that type of skull, fiery energy, or that kind of 80s metal feeling, or aesthetic, or any of that, well, this may not be the best for you. If you're not looking for a deck that's for shadow work, or, or this type of artwork, or feeling, well, to each their own. We, that's what makes us each unique. So, look at the backings on these. Beautiful. Of course, I love skulls. Uh, if you watch any of my previous videos, as I said, a hot minute. That's one of my big things. And, and I have a tattoo with skull in a rose. So, yes. Um, and then, look at that gilding. Beautiful. So, it's everything. My only complaint with this is the guidebook is great. But the print is extremely small for someone that has horrible eyesight like myself. Yes, I got to take responsibility and go get that looked at. But even I'm sure with glasses, it's still with the lighting and pain. It's going to be a pain in the ass. But beyond that, I don't really use it because I use the word keyword on the on the actual deck. And um, that it has about it on that. So I don't really use the guidebook unless I really feel compelled to. Not that there's anything wrong with it. So I'm just going to show a few cards just in case you're interested and to see why I call it my layer heavy metal deck. So, and this um, Haiti speaks well a lot through this deck, means he's attracted to it influently. He is of one of my sacred divine masculine um, deities that works with, guides me, empowers me, and of course keeps me in discipline. <laughs> so yes. So, for example, and I'm not going to read out the keywords. You can see them for yourself. But if any of you are familiar with that type of music or genre or artwork, like album covers, you will know what I'm talking about and why I'm saying this. Syrian shadows decks often are very dark, have a macabre nature, an underworld, a fiery, and a lot of skull magic, um, and a lot of blacks, grays, and pops of reds. This is, again, I don't know how much it goes for on Amazon, but I got this when it did come out on Amazon. But it is mass market. I still believe it should be for purchase. I have not checked. So if it's not, I apologize. But again, this one doesn't seem to get as much love as it should. Or what I've seen as much on YouTube. I never used to be a big Oracle fan for Oracle decks, meaning. But when I found the first two and they worked for me, which are completely opposite than this type of deck meaning, you know, for their aesthetic and such, 
then I, of course, fell through that rabbit hole. I love this imagery. I love the key words again. And I love the little sentence at the bottom. As you can see, you can pause this. It's great for journaling. It's great for introspection, introspection advice. Um, Mary's in the advice with what's coming up, confronting, healing, and integrating, acknowledging, or releasing in a situation, not just shadow work, but in the situational energies I use it for too. I don't use it as a clarifier for tarot. Maybe I'll try that sometime when I feel, if I, if and when I feel compelled to. Show a couple more cards. So if this is your aesthetic, you're looking into, you like interesting artwork, you're into shadow work, um, looking for something different or unique for your collection if you're a collector. Um, you work with Underworld, like me, like Hades, for example. Um, this may be a great deck, great mass market deck that I highly recommend, or any of Syrian Shadows decks for that matter. I will probably, if. He comes out with more decks, even after the gothic literature. I will probably purchase just for my collector value on that. And I'm certain I will find value for my path working in myself and my practice and my divination, but also my magic. So with that being said, thanks for tuning in and watching the, another installment of the 31 Days of Strange. And of course, stay strange and... Bless it be.